So in order to land that, that first deal, there's 10 plus different ways to land that, that first co-hosting deal. And I've, I've tried all of them. You know, there's, you know, call on family, friends, loved ones, people that already know, like, and trust you working that network. Uh, you can do what I did, which was basically cold calling for rent listings and, and, and convince them to ter- take a long-term rental and a short-term rental. Um, you can do digital marketing. You can get into Facebook groups. You can go on Airbnb's preferred co-host program. You can go ham on social media. All of these tactics work and they have helped us grow from, you know, what was it? 1200 listings to 2500 listings in the mastermind. But the one that is working the most right now, and that is like the most low hanging fruit is a method that uh, we came up with with a few of our mastermind students that we call the underserved investor method. And so what that is essentially is over the last three years, if we, if we look at this graph here, this is straight from AirDNA. The available listings in 2020 was a, just over a million available listings in the United States. Now, fast forward three years, 2023, I think this data came from December 2023. There was 1.5 million listings in the United States. So literally a third of the the properties that are on Airbnb or are short-term rentals in the United States happen, happen in the last three years. I'm sure everybody here either has either bought a short-term rental in the last three years or knows somebody that bought a short-term rental in the last three years. And so the huge spike in supply has been, I mean, it, it's been immense, but the demand for short-term rentals, like the demand for nightly stays and travel hasn't caught up with the amount of supply that's being put on the market. So what happens? This is what we saw last year. RevPAR, occupancy, and average nightly rates goes down. So I'm sure a lot of you guys saw the Airbnb bus thing about six months ago, but it's true. Like people are struggling. There are oversaturation in the markets. Um, This article talks about the 31 of the top 50 largest short-term rental markets are oversaturated and occupancy rates are coming down. Like we're going back to like even less than 2019 numbers. And it's not like there's less people traveling. That's not the case at all. It's that there's so many more listings that you need to stand out and you need to actually operate your property well in order to get booked. And so there's three three big mistakes that people have made over the last three years. Um, the first one is they either, they bought bad deals so this is, you know, uneducated, just saw a property that they wanted to use and, you know, didn't run the numbers, didn't use AirDNA, didn't use all the other data providers that are out there and just bought an une- uneducated bad deal. That's the first big mistake. The second one is those people that did buy those deals, they just kind of, it could be a good deal, but they just threw their listing up on Airbnb, took some cell phone pictures Um, you know, wrote in the, in the marketing copy that, you know, it's just a great stay and it can sleep 10 people and, and, and that's it. It's just poorly self-managed properties. And then they get, you know, guests that come in that trash the property, then they get kind of depleted and, and now they're kind of stuck with a short-term rental. So it's underperforming. All right. Do I sell it? Do I give it to a property manager? I'm not really sure. Like I haven't, I can't tell you how many calls I've taken over the last year where people said, Hey, I'm struggling in my market. What should I do? And I take a look at their listing and I'm like, well, you bought a bad deal and you got cell phone pictures. Like the the first picture is the outside of your house. Let's let's improve that first and then make a decision on whether this this property is going to be good for you or not. Okay. And then the third big mistake that I've seen and I'll show you that has happened all too often is hiring a bad property manager, hands down. Hiring somebody that doesn't give a shit about your property, all right? So the the top two property managers in the United States right now uh, are Vacasa and Evolve. Uh, so Vacasa is a publicly traded company. They have 54,000 listings in the United States. They do 2.2 billion in revenue a year from their short-term rentals, 2.2 billion. And they have a 4.45 star rating on Airbnb. Now, this stat below from AirDNA, 95% of reviews that guests give are five stars. 
So 4.45 is nowhere near a super host. And, and really it's just, it's just poor. Like they, they're not, they don't care about their properties and same thing with evolve.